Welcome to Tokyo, Japan, a vibrant and bustling metropolis that's full of life and culture. Today, we'll be taking you through the top 10 things to do in Tokyo so you can make the most out of your visit. Let's get started. Global Explorer. Adventure awaits. Join us on the journey. Join our channel and never miss out on our latest travel and foodie content. Subscribe now and stay tuned for more exciting adventures. 1. Visit the Tokyo Skytree. The Tokyo Skytree is an iconic landmark of the city, offering visitors a panoramic view of Tokyo's cityscape from its observation deck. The deck is located at a height of 350 meters, and visitors can choose to go even higher to the Tembo Galleria at 450 meters, which provides an even more breathtaking view of the city. At sunset, the view from the observation deck is truly stunning. The sky turns into a warm shade of orange and pink, casting a beautiful glow over the city. Visitors can watch as the lights of the city begin to twinkle and come alive, creating a magical and unforgettable experience. For those who want to take their experience to the next level, there's also an option to dine in one of the tower's restaurants while enjoying the spectacular views. The Sky Restaurant 634 offers a fine dining experience, serving up a range of Japanese and international cuisine with stunning views of the city. In addition to the observation deck and restaurants, the Tokyo Skytree also has a variety of shops and entertainment options, including an aquarium and a planetarium. There's something for everyone at the Tokyo Skytree, making it a must-visit attraction for anyone visiting Tokyo. 2. Explore the Tsukiji Fish Market The Tsukiji Fish Market is a bustling hub of activity in Tokyo, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to witness the incredible sight of fresh seafood being sold and traded. It's one of the largest fish markets in the world, covering an area of over 230,000 square meters. One of the most popular attractions at the Tsukiji Fish Market is the tuna auction. Visitors can watch as the tuna is auctioned off to the highest bidder, with prices often reaching into the millions of yen. The auctions take place early in the morning, and visitors are advised to arrive early to secure a spot. If you're not interested in the auctions, you can still explore the market and see the incredible variety of seafood on offer. From sushi-grade tuna to live sea urchins, the Tsukiji fish market has it all. There are also numerous restaurants and food stalls around the market, offering visitors a chance to sample some of the freshest and most delicious seafood in Tokyo. For those who want to learn more about the history and culture of the market, there are also guided tours available. These tours offer a behind-the-scenes look at the inner workings of the market, and provide visitors with a fascinating insight into the daily life of the vendors and traders who work there. Overall, the Tsukiji Fish Market is a unique and unforgettable experience that's not to be missed when visiting Tokyo. Whether you're a seafood lover or simply interested in Japanese culture, a visit to the market is sure to be a highlight of your trip. 3. Visit the Imperial Palace The Imperial Palace is an important landmark in Tokyo, as it serves as the residence of the Japanese Emperor and the Imperial family. The palace grounds cover an area of over 1.15 square kilometers, and are surrounded by a moat and high stone walls. Visitors to the Imperial Palace can explore the gardens, which are open to the public throughout the year. The gardens are home to a variety of trees and plants, and offer visitors a peaceful oasis in the heart of Tokyo. There are also several historic structures within the palace grounds, including the Fushimi Yugura Watchtower, which dates back to the 17th century. One of the most popular attractions at the Imperial Palace is the guided tour of the palace itself. The tour takes visitors through several of the palace's main buildings, including the Simon Tesubashi Bridge, the Chowaden Hall, and the Kogosho Building. Visitors can learn about the history of the Japanese monarchy and the significance of each of these buildings. Another popular attraction at the Imperial Palace is the Naijibashi Bridge, which is one of the most photographed spots in Tokyo. The bridge spans the moat that surrounds the palace, and offers a stunning view of the palace's entrance. Overall, a visit to the Imperial Palace is a must-do for anyone interested in Japanese history and culture. 
The palace and its grounds offer a glimpse into the country's rich past, and are a testament to the beauty and elegance of traditional Japanese architecture. 4. Discover the Meiji Shrine the Meiji Shrine is one of Tokyo's most popular tourist attractions and a great place to learn about the Shinto religion and Japanese history. It is located in a large forested area in the heart of Tokyo, and the serene atmosphere of the shrine offers a respite from the hustle and bustle of the city. The shrine was built in 1920 to honor Emperor Meiji, who played a pivotal role in modernizing Japan and bringing the country into the modern era. Visitors to the shrine can explore the tranquil grounds, which include a large Torii gate at the entrance, a purification fountain, and a main hall. One of the most impressive sights at the Meiji Shrine is the huge courtyard in front of the main hall. It is surrounded by tall trees and is a popular spot for traditional Japanese weddings and other ceremonies. The Meiji Shrine is also a great place to learn about the Shinto religion, which is Japan's indigenous religion. Visitors can see the offerings of sake and food left at the shrine by worshippers and learn about the importance of purification rituals in the Shinto faith. Overall, a visit to the Meiji Shrine is a must-do for anyone interested in Japanese history and culture. The tranquil surroundings and serene atmosphere of the shrine offer a glimpse into a different side of Tokyo and provide visitors with a deeper understanding of Japan's unique traditions and beliefs. 5. Experience the Harajuku District The Harajuku District is one of Tokyo's most colorful and energetic neighborhoods, and a great place to experience Tokyo's vibrant youth culture. The area is famous for its street fashion and quirky boutiques, and visitors can find everything from cosplay costumes to vintage clothing on Takashita Street, one of the area's main thoroughfares. In addition to shopping, Harajuku is also home to a number of trendy cafes, restaurants, and bars, making it a popular destination for foodies and night owls. Visitors can sample everything from traditional Japanese street food to international cuisine, and enjoy a drink or two in one of the area's many cozy bars and lounges. For those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the city, Yoyogi Park is just a short walk away. The park is one of Tokyo's largest and most popular green spaces, and is home to several walking trails, ponds, and open-air event spaces. Visitors can enjoy a picnic on the grass or attend one of the many festivals and events that take place throughout the year. Overall, a visit to Harajuku is a must-do for anyone interested in Tokyo's vibrant youth culture and unique fashion scene. With its colorful shops, trendy cafes, and lively nightlife, the area offers a glimpse into a different side of Tokyo that's sure to leave a lasting impression. 6. Visit the Sinsoji Temple The Sinsoji Temple, located in the Asakusa district of Tokyo, is one of the city's most iconic and historic attractions. Founded in the 7th century, it is Tokyo's oldest temple and a popular destination for both tourists and locals alike. Visitors to the Sinsoji Temple can explore the temple grounds, which include several historic buildings and statues, as well as the famous Thunder Gate, Kamenarima, that marks the entrance to the temple. The gate is flanked by two giant statues of the Buddhist gods of wind and thunder, and visitors can walk through the gate and up the long promenade known as the Nakami Shopping Street. The street is lined with vendors selling traditional Japanese snacks, souvenirs, and crafts. Once inside the temple grounds, visitors can participate in a traditional Japanese tea ceremony, where they will be served a bowl of matcha tea and a sweet while learning about the history and cultural significance of the ceremony. One of the highlights of a visit to the Sinsoji Temple is the five-story pagoda, which dates back to the 17th century and offers stunning views of the surrounding area from its top floor. Overall, a visit to the Sinsoji Temple is a must-do for anyone interested in Japanese history and culture. With its rich history, stunning architecture, and cultural significance, the temple offers a glimpse into a different side of Tokyo and provides visitors with a deeper understanding of Japan's unique traditions and beliefs. 7. Take a stroll through Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden is a tranquil retreat in the bustling heart of Tokyo, and a popular destination for nature lovers and those seeking a moment of calm amid the city's frenetic pace. 
The garden is known for its traditional Japanese landscape, which features a stunning array of cherry blossom trees, walking paths, and ponds. Visitors to the garden can stroll through the carefully tended gardens, which are divided into several sections including a traditional Japanese garden, an English landscape garden, and a French formal garden. The garden is also home to several historic structures, including a tea house and a greenhouse, as well as several picnic areas where visitors can relax and enjoy the natural beauty of their surroundings. One of the highlights of a visit to Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden is the cherry blossom season, which typically takes place in late March or early April. During this time, the garden is transformed into a sea of pink and white blossoms, and visitors can enjoy the annual Hanami, flower viewing, festival, which includes food stalls, live music, and traditional Japanese performances. Overall, a visit to Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden is a great way to experience Tokyo's natural beauty and escape the hustle and bustle of the city. With its serene atmosphere, stunning scenery, and rich history, the garden is a must-visit destination for anyone looking to relax and unwind in Tokyo. 8. Enjoy the nightlife in Shibuya Shibuya is a bustling and energetic district located in the heart of Tokyo. It's a popular destination for visitors looking to experience Tokyo's vibrant nightlife scene, with a wide range of entertainment options available. One of the most famous attractions in Shibuya is the Shibuya Crossing, a busy intersection where thousands of people cross the street at the same time. It's a unique and exhilarating experience to witness the sheer volume of people weaving in and out of each other in perfect harmony. Visitors can also explore the area's many shops, bars, and restaurants, which offer a variety of local and international cuisine. For those looking to party, Shibuya has a wide selection of nightclubs and bars catering to all tastes. From trendy rooftop bars to underground techno clubs, there's something for everyone. Visitors can also catch a live performance at one of Shibuya's many music venues, which showcase a variety of genres from J-pop to rock. Foodies will also love Shibuya's diverse dining scene, which includes everything from traditional Japanese cuisine to international dishes. Some of the most popular foods to try in Shibuya include ramen, sushi, and okonomiyaki, a savory pancake made with cabbage and other ingredients. Overall, Shibuya is a vibrant and exciting destination that offers something for everyone. Whether you're looking to party the night away, sample delicious food, or explore Tokyo's street culture, you're sure to find plenty of things to do in this lively district. 9. Visit the Tokyo National Museum The Tokyo National Museum is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Japanese history and culture. With its vast collection of artifacts and artwork spanning more than 5,000 years, the museum offers a unique and insightful perspective on Japan's rich cultural heritage. Visitors can explore the museum's many exhibits, which include traditional Japanese art, samurai swords, ancient pottery, and much more. One of the most popular exhibits is the Japanese Gallery, which features a wide range of traditional Japanese art, including calligraphy, ceramics, and paintings. Another highlight of the museum is the Gallery of Horiuji Treasures, which showcases a stunning collection of Buddhist art and artifacts from the Horiuji Temple in Nara. The collection includes ancient statues, textiles, and other objects that offer a fascinating glimpse into Japan's religious history. The museum also features a wide range of temporary exhibitions throughout the year, which highlight different aspects of Japanese art, history, and culture. These exhibitions offer a great opportunity to explore specific themes or periods in more detail. Overall, the Tokyo National Museum is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Japanese culture and history. With its vast collection of artifacts and artwork, there's something for everyone to enjoy, whether you're a history buff, an art lover, or simply looking to learn more about this fascinating country. 10. Take a day trip to Mount Fuji No visit to Tokyo is complete without a day trip to Mount Fuji, the highest mountain in Japan and one of the country's most iconic landmarks. 
Located just a few hours outside of Tokyo, Mount Fuji is a popular destination for day trips and a must-see attraction for anyone visiting the area. Visitors can take a hike to the summit of the mountain, which offers stunning views of the surrounding area and a unique perspective on Japan's natural beauty. For those who prefer a more leisurely pace, there are plenty of other activities to enjoy, such as visiting nearby hot springs or exploring the quaint mountain towns that dot the area. In addition to its natural beauty, Mount Fuji is also steeped in Japanese cultural history and is home to many traditional Japanese cultural activities. Visitors can participate in a tea ceremony, learn traditional crafts such as pottery or calligraphy, or attend a local festival to experience the region's unique cultural traditions. Overall, a day trip to Mount Fuji is a great way to experience the natural beauty and cultural richness of Japan. Whether you're a nature lover, a history buff, or simply looking to explore something new, Mount Fuji is a must-see destination that should be at the top of your Tokyo travel itinerary. While these top 10 things to do in Tokyo are a great starting point, there are countless other hidden gems and unique experiences to be had in this city. Whether you're interested in food, history, art, or simply exploring a new culture, Tokyo is sure to offer something that piques your interest. So pack your bags and get ready to embark on an unforgettable adventure in this incredible city. Thanks for watching our Tokyo Travel Guide. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel content like this. And as always, happy travels. Thanks for watching.